What's up everybody and my dear manners, welcome to another episode of Protoss 111 to Grandmaster. 111 meaning that I can only make one type of unit from each production facility, so one type of unit from the Gateway Warp Gate, one type of unit from the Robotics Facility, and one type of unit from the Stargate. Once I choose the unit, or once the unit is already produced, I cannot change the unit throughout the entire game, so let's get it done. Alright, our first opponent is going to be Governor. <laughs> in, a, in a PvP match. Let's see what we can get done. Oh, obviously I do need to turn on the pesky life bars. Alright, PvP on Waterfall. Definitely I want to start with a one gate expand on the low ground. However, considering this is a very short map distance in general, I could be looking to make a double gate opener, but then there's no reason to do double gate opener. Well, I guess I could with with the adepts, but I think it's no use since I cannot make stalkers. So yeah, obviously I cannot make stalkers. For those of you who are new to the to the channel, a new viewer, if you're unfamiliar, I already made Grandmaster with stalkers only. I actually make made six thousand MR with stalker only, so that's why I'm not allowing myself stalkers in this challenge, the Protoss one one one. I guess I kind of want to open up double gas. Probably start with a Robo or Sargate first, but what kind of units do I want? I think Voidra is the best case scenario for PvP. For me. But I wouldn't mind getting carriers. I could probably make carriers in PvP. Maybe I should fool around a bit, but I, I was fooling around a lot already in this Protoss 101, I feel like. And there are games where I lost. I kind of want to go maybe Adept Immortal Carrier. How about that? Maybe we can make it work. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is... Oh, yeah, this is one of the things. <laughs> uh, it's blocking my Nexus. But also that if, if we both go Stark and he goes Phoenixes, I cannot really go Carriers, no? That's impossible. Okay, since he's blocking my expansion, I'll block his. But I'll start with an Adept. I guess he will go Stargate now. <coughs> In case he goes Stargate as a counter to the Robotic Facility, I'll go Phoenixes instead of Carriers. What is he doing? He's building so much my, on my side of the map. He's kind of busting out the uh, Adepts, I suppose. Yeah. Glory to the That's way too much. Ooh, don't die before the shade finishes. No! Okay, nice, 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 nice. Look how much time I'm actually buying here. <coughs> I'll have another probe. He actually put, what, 200, 350 resources in here. I'm very surprised he does that. I might actually have to go for like mass immortal now to be honest but the models are not that good versus the adepts actually i should definitely get a freaking no oh my god can i block him no okay at least i'm not losing that much could be much worse Okay, we don't need the battery here anymore then. Uh, pff, I kind of really want to prevent the Oracle. I, I'm not sure if getting carriers is the best <laughs> case scenario for me in this situation. I'll give make an Observer. One base carrier it is. Are we doing this? Am I certain about it? Uh, F it, let's go. Let's try. Let the lulz begin. Okay. We need another pylon to not get supply blocked. We still haven't seen a single tech unit from my opponent. But we need to take into consideration that he actually lost uh, two adepts, two pylons, and a submarine. Considering he's scouting me for Phoenix, that means he's definitely expanded. 
I'll be able to make a f courier immediately, one of them at least. As I hallucinate is immortal, by the way. I'm not sure if you guys know, but detection uh, reveals the. Uh, oh. Detection reveals the hallucinations. He's gonna make. Wait, that's a real way, I forgot. The immortal is the one. Hallucinated. Mm. I can't really find any damage here. Let me try to get a second Stargate. He goes second Stargate as well. Ah, oh, he goes Phoenixes! That's the worst case scenario, that's what I was talking about. Mm, this is not good. Okay. Maybe we can make it work. Maybe it will be not so bad. At least I have good vision. He has... No counter to the courier just yet. But he will have a lot of phoenixes. If I can get up to like six carriers, I should be somewhat fine. Maybe he doesn't actually know I'm going carriers. Because he scouted my target in a fleet beacon. Maybe he's thinking this is a fleet beacon for Phoenix range. <laughs> <coughs> he's already moving out though. I have literally one carrier. One carrier is not enough to fight six phoenixes. Especially with the amount of interceptors I have. I have no Chrono Boost. Uh, maybe a Forge would be nice. Can I counter him with the Adepts? Oh, here we go. Okay, he cannot kill the carrier though. He can kill the Interceptors. Okay, that's good. Okay, that was a good trait. After all. Let's make sure that we do some harassment. But to, I need to keep in mind that he actually has Phoenix production up. First target, okay. Is he watching? He's not watching. Nice, this is a good mining time. That's a lot of mining time lost. Plus he doesn't have the fleet beacon himself. So he will only have like bare phoenixes. And I'm starting to get into the carrier count that I wanted to. He's not starting upgrades as well on the cybernetic score. Oh, there's a lot of phoenixes though. Maybe more than I can handle at this moment. Uh, the third carrier pops out, though. <coughs> third, uh, third carrier is definitely enough. Can kill one phoenix here, maybe? No. I'm gonna attack my own building, so... I can get all of my interceptors out. Keep it. No here. I am losing a lot of probes though. I'm not sure if this is very good for me, but I don't mind it that much. I did lose a lot of probes, but so did he just a moment ago, right? He wants to pick up this probe. Ah, one phoenix dead? Okay, that's good. One phoenix dead is nice. He's, he's running more phoenixes. I'm gonna have five carriers soon. One more phoenix dead? Nice. I think we're definitely back into this game now. This, I have the carrier count that I was talking about. Six carriers. I don't have a uh, super battery though. I don't have the energy. He has three stargates. <laughs> it's like 8.30 into the game when I am below 100 supply. It's fantastic. It was a very slow start. Okay, six carriers. Where are the phoenixes? He's going to the north. So probably he will attack my natural, based on the phoenix movement. Let's see. There he is. I'm losing a lot of more probes now. One more phoenix dead, please. Come on. Why are you not dying? What the hell? The phoenixes never die, man. Imagine if he had range as well for the phoenixes. That'd be good for him. Can I actually just go across the map and win? I don't think he can really fight the carrier straight up. And I can always recall them, right? If I'm in danger. I have plus one. I think I can just go across the map. Oh, ah, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, well, he will kill all of the pros, so I'm kind of forcing the base street here. Let's see. 
Carriers versus Phoenix. I mean, he cannot kill the buildings. And I will have all my interceptors out. I think this is better for me than for him. <coughs> Super battery, is it enough for this many Phoenixes? No, it's not. But remember, he, he cannot kill the buildings. Oh, you need to kill the range thing. Sleep beacon. Okay, he's going for full base rates. I have barely any probes left. We can need, need to kill the probes. Okay, this is this is fine, this is fine. As long as all my interceptors are out, I'm okay with this. He's pulling probes as well. Oh, it's full base rate. I could recall the carriers to be honest, but he has a third base. You go here. If you follow the ah oh, yeah, I was I was going to say that he's probably hunting my probe to the phoenixes, but he still cannot really kill my buildings quickly enough. I think I can rejoin with the additional three carriers that I will have. That's a total of nine carriers. He cannot definitely he can definitely cannot fight that. I'll recall these carriers soon. Ah, he got him. That's not good. We just need the lower HP Phoenix system. I still think I kill him faster. He was going to be revealed soon. Mm. Does uh, does he have the range? He didn't finish the range. Okay. Let's kill this. I don't even need to recall. Like he has only like void ray and the depth. In the base rate, there's just no way. <coughs> Unless he has a base somewhere, but I don't think he has. I mean, uh, he might have one, but it's like not with enough static defense to be a threat. Like, you have to have like 10 cannons or something. Oh, he saw me splitting the carriers, so he's coming back. If I keep my carrier count together, I should be fine. No matter what. I can still reproduce my probes, he cannot. I still have two next time. Eh? And here we go. Big fight, I'll lose maybe one carrier. No. Not even. And he cannot reproduce the phoenixes. So I can just recall now. And GG. He just leaves the game. Oh, was that the last building? Oh, he still had one more pylon, but that's it. There's nothing else he could have done. Fun, fun fact, we actually both ended up on the exact same amount of minerals at the end of the game. 810. But the carrier prevails! The carrier rushed the one base carrier! <laughs> Oh my god, that was actually so funny. No, oh, game number two will be versus Zerg. Same map though. 4.9k MMR. I think we are kind of on a on a grandmaster level already with this account. 5.2k MMR. I think that's roughly like top 150 MMR to be honest. Uh, top 150 of Grandmaster, of course. Okay, let's see. What can we do versus the Zerg now? With the 111. What kind of units can make it fun? <laughs> there, I haven't had a single episode of, with a sentry. But I feel like sentry should never be the unit to choose in 111. Like, there are just better gateway units than a sentry. Sentry feels very useless in the current uh, Stark of 2 meta. Ah. Gets the hatchery down. Hmm. I need to kind of figure out which units I want to go for so I can prepare my build accordingly. But so far, we'll just start standard with an uh, one gate expand on the, on the low ground. As my guy is actually playing super standard himself. With just a hatch first. I'm thinking about Zalets. I feel like the Zealots are very good in PvZ. And they are very easy to make work. Obviously you need charge. So I'm kind of hoping... Yeah, I'll, I'll go Zealots for, from, from the gateway for sure. Or maybe we can go for a super high-tech high -tech unit. Void Ray Archon Immortal, huh? How about that? Void Ray Archon Immortal. Is there anything that can really 
kill me? <clears throat> I'm not sure. But it feels like a fun comp composition to play. But I can make well, I can make high, high tempers to be honest. What well, and then I can make archons. But would that be too much? I think I'll start with the void no matter what. That will yeah, that will definitely give me uh, an easy setup for for third base. That's going to be my start. And then I think I'll go Void Ray, Immortal, and then what? Dark Templar or High Templar? I think High Templar will give me more uh, control over the game. Because if he goes for Vipers, he can Yoink and Parasitic Bomb the Void Ray. So yeah. Let's go High Templar, Immortal, Void Ray. Wait, I have a Zealot! I can't go High Templar. What am I talking about? Hmm. So I, I have a Zealot. I cannot go High Templars. So Zealot, Void Ray. Colossus, I think. I need some kind of splash damage. The Vipers are, go are going to be my biggest threat. That's for sure. Okay, I kind of skipped scouting. Because I was thinking about what units I want to make. It's a very small map, so I want to continuously make Void Rays. Okay, let's try. Void Rays are at Colossus. It it's going to be a strong composition, actually, to play with. The Zealous will provide a little bit of tankiness. The Colossus will provide me the range and the splash damage versus the light units. And the Voidus will be my all-around anti-air unit. I mean, if he's going for mass mutas, it's not going to be that pretty, but... Actually, if he goes for Corruptors, it's not going to be that pretty either. Oh my god. What have I done? Maybe it's actually that terrible composition. I can still change the Robo unit. Nah, but I still think it's the best case. Scenario. Let's try this. I want to scout around with the Void Rays now. I don't really need to rush the Colossus. <coughs> because it's not gonna help me versus the Roses or anything. What I need to rush is upgrades. I think upgrades are going to be great. For the Void Ray. Okay, let's move out. Oh, there's a free Overlord. Why not? Uh, we'll always take that. And I need a Robo now, for Observers. Second target would be nice as well, actually, to get the Void Ray count up. Let's see, maybe another Stray... No Lair in the main base. Does he have Lair in the natural? Just roll Torren. Ah, uh, is it Lair? No, it's not. It's just Hatchery Tech. It kind of gives me um, Queen Walk vibes, to be honest. Maybe this Raptor would be better here, in this situation. I, I, I can still change my mind, I can still go with this Raptor, but... I still think Colossus will be the better choice. Can make some Zealots as well. Zealots actually can deal with the Queens fairly well. <coughs> Let's make the Robo Bay. No fourth base. Can Observer. So many Queens down. Yeah, I think I'm taking it into the wrong direction. Overlord speed? Wait. Why? Why do you have overlord speed? Does he want to like all enemy with like Queen Link? Ravager? Oh, three overlords. Look at this. Okay, that's good. That's good. If he doesn't have a fourth base, he doesn't. I mean, he, he is building one, but he doesn't have it yet. Mm -hmm. He's constantly scouting, which is nice for him. He should have learned by now. Oh, he's just making one. Okay, that gives me a lot of time to maybe snipe this base. Two queens? Should be not enough. Ah, uh, it's enough. He has more. He has more when it came from. Okay. I'm gonna take a 4 4 of, of or all, since his lair is so late. Ah! Since he's lurched so late, he will not have a counter to the Void Rays for the longest time. But the problem is, he can actually save money for crops. So let's put some pressure on him. Let's put some pressure on him with the slow Zealots. And try to get to charge and plus one in the meantime. 
That way, <coughs> I will force him to make roaches and he will have less money for massing corruptors. Because if he just focuses on corruptors only, he can overpower me really easily. But if I put some pressure with the zealots, he will be forced to spend some of that money. Look at, look at this, he has no ground units. We can maybe kill the queens here. See, this is what I want to... Look, look, three overlords. We need to put some pressure because he's definitely going for Spire, I think. In the meantime. There's the roaches, this is what I was talking about. All good, let's make a fleet beacon in the meantime. Plus one charge. Transfer probes to the fourth. There we go. Very successful harassment. It's exactly what we needed. Now he's made many roaches, he lost some drones. So if he's indeed going for a spire, he cannot produce this many uh, corruptors anymore. That was successful. <clears throat> Let's warp in more gateways, I suppose. So I can use the salads. Oh, stray queens outside of the creep. We can definitely snipe those for free. All good. Okay, right. Uh, what's next? I guess more zealots. We still have yet to find out his actual tech, but considering he has so many gases taken, this must be Spire. There's Mutas. Mutas, Mutas are very dangerous. How many? He doesn't have that many, but enough to be a threat. Uh, I need more Stargates. Ideally, I would like to have Phoenixes. I think I need to kill him before he gets mass amounts of Mutas. I don't think I'll be able to overpower Mutalisk with only Void Rays when it comes to the higher numbers. So I need to cause some chaos right now before he gets to the significant flock. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, he has actually so many. I have plus two right now, plus one only. Oh, he's retreating. I think he could have fought that. I want to warp in a lot of zealots and I'll go to the third base and void us to the main. And the moment he responds to the Voyager to the Mutas, I'll recall them. That's the plan. And the Zealous will deal all the damage to the third base. So here we go. Maybe cheeky snipe. Zealous here. A recall. And now we have a free rain here. Okay, retreat. Nice, that's nice. We can snipe this base and run away. I'll use free Zealous as a distraction so the rest of the Zealous can run away. He actually has a lot of Muras. More than I can handle at the moment. Hmm. I need to counterattack on the left side of the map. Keep my void rays together and I keep need to save 50 energy for a battery overcharge. Without battery overcharge I don't think I can win. Okay. Two void rays almost popping. Oh, there's another base here, what? Save those. I'm surprised he's not attacking me with the Mutas. What is he doing? Why are not, is he coming back with the Mutas? Yes, he is. Why the hell not? Yes, please. So I can get more voids. That's fantastic news. I have plus two now on the voids. He has so many of them though. How can I deal with mass Mutas now? I kind of feel like I need to win by base trading, or maybe just trading some of the Muras now. I'm not sure if I can reproduce my void this fast enough. I have plus two. Oh, I cannot recall. Oh. <coughs> I cannot recall. I can base trade with the Zealots. Oh no, not again, come on. Okay, here we go. On the way down. I think he's really overestimating the Void Rays, man. You can kind of fight them. Here we go. Battery overcharge, please. Thank you. I have plus two now. He cannot win this fight. There's no way. I have plus two and he's fighting in, into an overcharged battery. 
No way. More solids. Okay. This time he has no economy to reproduce the mutas. I, I got really worried for a brief moment because he had so many mutas that he could win with the void race, but he took the wrong fight. I think he had multiple opportunities with the mutas to actually take a favorable favorable fight for the mutas. But he waited too long. So I got myself plus two attack. And he fought into the Mati overcharge. No, he just doesn't have enough. GG, there's no way. Oof. Oh, that was actually so important to keep the harassment going. I think if I didn't move out with the Zealous and the Voidris earlier on into the game, uh, he would have had enough money. I want to take a look how much money he had when I moved out. Because he was definitely saving, right? So this is the move out with the Voidris and the Zealous soon. Look at the money he has. 2,000. Look, look. 2,300 and he's going into a spire, so I read the game perfectly without actually seeing the spire. So I knew exactly what his intentions are. So I move out and he has to spend some of that money. Let's see how much money he actually spends. I mean, he's mining a lot. He doesn't spend that much, to be honest. But it did force some of the larva. So even though the spire finishes, he has only 8 larva now. So he, can, so he cannot spend that money. It also caused a lot of chaos in him, right? He, I, I cancelled the fourth base. It was the right move. Look how I spend my money. And now he can only spend the money if he has enough larva. So he constantly gets uh, a lot of money because he cannot really spend it. He doesn't have the gas mining from the fourth base. So the move out was the correct choice anyway. Alright guys, I'm gonna finish this episode with only two games. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. And I'm not gonna lie, I right before that I was also... Uh, recording campaign, the dark story campaign for to, to upload, and that was my original goal. But the, the campaign kept crashing, and I restarted the mission over and over again, and it kept crashing. So I decided, like, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough uh, power. So I just went this uh, with this episode of Protoss 101 and 2 Grandmaster. Hope you guys will forgive me the double game. It's still almost 30 minutes games. So thank, thanks a lot for watching this one, and I'll see you on the next episode of Winter Way Upload. Have a great rest of the day, and... Take care and bye-bye.